Superintendent Kathy Hoffman has been sued for recklessly exposing children to a hypersexual online chat room accessed through her official Arizona Department of Education website. The chat room is known as Queer Chat or Q Chat, and children can join without parental approval. Queer Chat is an online chat room that encourages children to chat with adults in the LGBTQ community about hypersexual topics based on gender and sexuality. Queer Chat encourages children to, quote, make friends and make connections. Much like sexual predators offer candy to children from a van, Queer Chat uses popular children's topics like Pokemon, Marvel Comics, and Star Wars to lure them in. This is a modern-day digital version of Stranger Danger, and every parent must beware. I can join a chat room to talk about games, Pokemon, or I can join a chat room to talk about sex, relationships, or my gender with adults from all over. And my parents will never know. The best part about Queer Chat is there isn't a skip button or a safety button that I can press if my mommy or daddy walks by. When I click the escape button it instantly closes my chat room and automatically redirects my screen to Google so my mommy and daddy will never know who I was talking to and they will think I was just looking on the internet. These sexual chat rooms are quote, led and moderated by LGBTQ volunteers from across the country, and they are called Q-chatters. These are unknown, unchecked and unlicensed adults discussing sexual topics with our children. Not only is this highly inappropriate and unacceptable, it is against the law, and it violates Arizona's Parental Bill of Rights. The worst part is that it is accessible to the Arizona State Department of Education website. What's worse is that children are forced to answer a series of highly sexual and inappropriate questions regarding their sexual and romantic orientation and gender identity as you can see. But you need to know that the scariest and most dangerous part of queer chat is that your child must give their email address, date of birth, zip code and racial background. And if your child wants reminders of upcoming chats, they must give their cell phone number. There are no limits to the potential risks. As you can see, children can easily be lured in, their data can be effortlessly obtained or hacked and sold on the dark web. Children can share their personal contact information without you ever knowing. They can share their address and social media profiles. Without parental approval, there is nothing preventing these children from talking to an online stranger outside of QChat, or even worse, meeting them in person. Superintendent Kathy Hoffman allowing children to access this chat room through an official government website is reckless at best and exposes all of Arizona's children and their data to potential sexual predators, all without parental consent and you ever knowing. And there is nothing there to stop them. Except you. Parents matter.